cold water shock, a serious and often underestimated danger that occurs when our bodies are suddenly exposed to cold water temperatures, particularly at 15 degrees C or below. Why is cold water shock so dangerous? Water temperatures under 15 degrees C have a significant impact on our ability to breathe and move. This is a year-round risk in many places. For instance, in the UK, the average sea temperatures are around 12 degrees and rivers like the Thames are often even colder, even during the summer. When we plunge into cold water, our body's blood vessels constrict. This increases the blood flow resistance and the heart rate, putting an extra strain on the heart. This can lead to heart attacks, even in young and healthy individuals. There is also an involuntary gasp reflex due to the skin's sudden cooling. This increases the breathing rate, causes panic, and the risk of inhaling water into the lungs. It is a shocking fact that just half a pint of seawater in the lungs is enough for a grown man to start drowning. If you find yourself unexpectedly in cold water, remember these three steps. Stay calm. The initial shock will pass in about a minute. Don't start swimming immediately. Relax and float. Adopt a posture that helps you stay afloat and regain control of your breathing. Call for help. If possible, call for assistance or swim to safety calmly. You can prevent accidents by planning your activities in water. Always check conditions where you're heading. Always know the water temperature and overall conditions. You can visit the Met Office website for current and future information. Wear appropriate clothing. A suitable wetsuit is essential depending on your activity and duration. And finally, use a flotation device. A life jacket or buoyancy aid can be a lifesaver. Our seas and rivers can incapacitate you within seconds, so it's crucial to treat water with respect. Falling into water is always a life-threatening situation. To enjoy water activities safely, stay informed, prepared and cautious.